12 poses versus osteoporosis. This is a sequence Dr. Fishman used in his first round to prove an increase in bone density. For the practice, you may need a chair and props, a blanket, a block and a strap. Being near a wall may be better for some of you, so choose what's appropriate for you, what your needs are. Coming from a mountain posture, posture of alignment, toes are closer together than the heels, reach down with your fingers. From here, let's come into tree. Move your body weight onto one side, bend your toes, knee out to the side, and bring your foot up in between your ankle and your knee. Push down in the ground, get tall in your body. Find a gaze, something to look at. And if there's movement, look to the center of the movement. One more breath. Bring your knee forward. Come back down through mountain. Find alignment in your body. Push your body weight to the other side, bend the toes, knee out to the side, foot up in between the ankle and the knee. Tall in your spine, heart lifted. Find a focal point. Last breath, knee forward, coming back to the mountain. Let's come into a triangle, either use a chair or a block. Come into a wide stance, toes under the chair, back foot back. Shoulders are forward, up, back and down, exhale, inhale, Push your hips away from you, reach long with that front body. Come down onto the top of the chair, the seat, or all the way down. Pushing away from the block, create length in your body. Push away from the floor, long spine, and then rotate your trunk forward. Try to bring that lower chest forward. Pushing away from the ground, legs are straight, bending that front hip, lengthen your spine. One more breath, push away from the ground, bring yourself up and out, the other side. Wide legs, toes under, heel back, shoulders are forward, up, back and down, exhale, inhale to lift your arms, lift, stretch that front armpit, hand down on the chair, the back of the chair, or the block. Push away from the block, push away from the chair, push away from the floor, lengthen your body, and then rotational force. Take one more breath. Push away from the floor, bring yourself back up. Back into mountain. Let's come into warrior two. Wide stance. Heel in the floor, toes are away, back heel away. Shoulders are forward, up, back and down, exhale. 
Inhale, push away from that back foot, load into that front foot. Look over those front fingers, long neck, arms are back. One more breath, and then bring yourself out. Let's go to the other side. Toes are forward, heel up, toes are away, back heels away. Shoulders are forward, up, back, and down. Exhale, push away from the back foot as you inhale to lower down into your warrior two. Fingers are long, neck is long. Push your arms back, lift your heart. out. Side angle. Legs are wide. Foot away, heel back. Shoulders are forward, up, back, and down. Reach down with your hands. Exhale. Push away from the back. Foot coming into the warrior two. From here, reach long. Bring your hand on top of your thigh. Arm is up. If you'd like, you can bring your arm on the inside of that knee. Create that rotational force in your trunk. One more breath. Bring yourself back up and come out the other side. Forward, up, back, and down, exhale. Inhale, push away from the back foot. From here, reach long, hand on the thigh. Bring yourself up. Arm on the inside of the knee if you'd like for more rotational force. Lengthen that spine. One more breath. And come all the way out. Coming into twisted triangle. The front leg is the leg you're rotating over. So take your feet back about two and a half feet apart. Toes are forward. Hands are on the waist, push your elbows back. Exhale, inhale, bending forward at the hip. Hand comes forward diagonally, either onto the top, back of the chair, or onto the block. Pushing into the block to get that rotational force, pushing away from the floor from the big toe edge of the back foot. Rotate and lengthen. One more breath. Bending the front knee, keep your head lifted, bring yourself up and out. Let's go to the other side. Toes forward, two and a half feet apart. Straight legs. Push your feet down into the ground. Squeeze your elbows towards each other. Exhale. Inhale to lengthen, bending the front hip, coming down. Hand goes onto the chair, onto the seat, or onto the block. 
push away from the ground, rotate. Keep your head lifted, bring yourself up and out. Coming down onto the ground, clear your space. You'll need your block, strap, and blanket. When you bend down, keep your spine legs wide, lower down, blanket folded, coming onto your blanket, take your block to the side, we're going to come into the seated twist, legs are straight, bend your leg, Hold on to your leg, get nice and tall in your posture. Hold on to the leg with the opposite arm. Hand on the block behind you. Push down to get tall, long spine. Push your feet into the floor, active legs. Exhale, and then inhale long and into this rotation. Lower your shoulders, long neck, lifted heart. One more breath. Push the block to the other side. Let's switch sides. Arm is on your leg. Hand on the block. Active legs push down. Exhale. And then inhale into rotation. Lower your shoulders, long neck. Second twist, take your blanket, fold your blanket, get your block. So you put one buttock on the blanket, and you bend that foot so that the ankle and the heel are bent. You have your buttock on the blanket on one side, heel on the other, and then bring your leg across your body. Support yourself in whatever way you need. Hold on to your leg, get nice and tall. Push down to get length in your spine. We're rotating over that front leg. Exhale, and then inhale to rotate. Lower your shoulders, lengthen your neck, lift your heart. Walk behind you. 
Hold on to your leg. Nice and tall body. Hold on, hand on the block. Exhale. Inhale, lower ribs. Middle and upper. Long neck, lifted heart. Long spine. Have your props next to you. Bring yourself onto the side. Keep your spine long as you lower down onto the ground. We'll come into the bridge posture. Take the blanket away from the back of your head. You could use your strap to hold on here. You could use the block in between your knees if you'd like. Arms could be bent straight or clasped underneath your body. Slide the shoulder blades towards each other, lengthen your neck, and then walk your feet closer to your body. Exhale. Tilt your pelvis back, flatten the low back into the floor, squeeze the block if you have a block, and as you inhale, peel your spine away from the ground, bending your spine, pressing the back of the spine into itself, creating that strong force to build stronger bones in the back of your body, in your spine. Bend your spine as much as you can, either clasping or bending the elbows. Do what's appropriate for you. Close your eyes. Push into the ground with your feet, with your hands. Really bend your spine here and bridge. One more breath. When you come down, articulate your spine one vertebra at a time. If you like to lift your heels up, lengthening your spine, your low back. Draw the knees into the chest. Hands on your belly. Coming into locust. Come on to your belly. Come up into sphinx. Elbows are underneath your shoulders. Push down. Find length in your body here. Lengthen. Bring yourself down onto the ground. Forehead touches the ground. Hands are alongside the body. Toenails touch the ground. Exhale. Inhale to lift away from the ground. One more breath, and then bring yourself down. Fold your hands, take your legs wide. Breathe down to your belly. Bring your hand up, come onto your side. Come all the way onto your back. Bring the blanket underneath your head. Take the strap. Bring the strap onto your foot. Wrap your hands around. Pull the strap down to deeply root that hip in the joint. Press the leg away from you. Opposite leg could be bent or straight, up to you. Create as much tension as you can, leg is straight. And begin by bringing the leg towards the wall behind you and push the leg away with the muscles. Pull down and back with the strap. Push away with the muscles, long neck. 
Feel that tension right where the leg attaches to the body. Pulling on the pelvis, creating stronger pelvis. One more breath. Bend your knee, let's switch. Bring the opposite foot up. Strap on the foot. Hands are down. Pull that leg down. Push the leg away from you and guide the leg towards the wall behind you. Create a lot of strong stimulation, pulling on the pelvic bone here with the hamstring muscle group. So push away, pull down, pull back. One more breath. Coming into big toe two pose. Take the strap on your foot. Hold the strap in that hand. Slide the hand down the strap. Opposite leg could be straight or bent. It's up to you. Opposite hand to the side to help stabilize. Inhale, lengthen your leg long to the side. Keep the upper thigh and the inner thigh as far away from each other. The two legs are as far away as they can be. Make sure you're stabilizing your pelvis here. Long waist, active legs, pushing into the ground, pushing into the strap. One more breath. Bring yourself back up. Let's go to the other side. Strap on your foot. Hold on to the strap in that hand. Other arm to the side. Exhale. Inhale to enter this posture. Keep the inner thigh of this leg as far away from the upper thigh as the other leg. your legs as far apart as possible. Stabilize your trunk. Create tension. Feel pulling on the pelvis. One more breath. Bring your leg back up to center. Strap off. Close your eyes, hands on your belly. Feel and notice what you notice in your body. From here, coming into Shavasana. Legs are straight, arms are alongside your body. Breathing in and out through your nose. Stay here in this moment, following your breath in and out of your body. Posture of integration. Allow the practice to integrate into your cells, into your bones, into your muscles, into your heart. Bring movement into the fingers, the toes. 
the ankles, the wrists. Bend in the knees, draw the knees into your chest. Come onto the side. When you come up, push away from the ground with your elbow in your hand. Don't let your head pull you up. Use the pushing muscles of the upper body to push away from the ground. Come up into a kneeling or a seated position. Bring your hands together. Press your heart to your hands, your hands to your heart. Find that nice activation in your postural muscles. We'll close the practice with sound, a humming sound. Exhale. Inhale. We bow in gratitude for the wisdom, for the opportunity, for this practice. Twelve postures versus osteoporosis. You can do these for 30 second holds. I recommend that you time your breath so you know what your 30 second breath is. It may be six, seven, eight breaths for you, maybe less. Time yourself, find out what your breath count is. And do this practice matching breath with the posture. Do this as often as you can every day if possible. Focusing on building stronger muscles, stronger joints, stronger bones, stronger balance, posture, and alignment. It's proven to increase bone density. This is the power we have to take control and take charge of how we age and the quality, health, and density of our bones. <laughs>